What up, HyperChange? Welcome to another episode. Today, we're talking about news that Tesla will be building its European Gigafactory in Germany and specifically in the Berlin area. Um, Tesla, as of its Q3 letter, said they were about to announce the location um, of their fourth Gigafactory, and now we know um, exactly where it is. Elon Musk was accepting an award on behalf of Tesla and the Model 3 in Germany yesterday, um, and that is where he let it slip um, that Tesla will be building its fourth Gigafactory there. Um, I didn't really want to make a video about this, but a ton of you requested it. I've been saying this was going to happen for a while. Um, I think it was pretty obvious um, where they were going to locate the Gigafactory. If you just look at a map of Europe, Germany is right in the middle. It's located next to all of the most densely populated urban areas. They have a ton of expertise in automotive manufacturing. It just kind of made sense. So um, additionally, the company will also be building a sort of design um, technology R&D hub in Berlin. Um, so it sounds like that's going to be where they're setting up shop. Um, as of the Q3 letter, um, we did get some clues about the timing of this. And reading into it, it's, it's pretty surprising. They said, we are hoping to announce the location soon of our European Gigafactory for production in 2021. So they may actually want to be begin production um, in just two years. And remember, it only took uh, Tesla to go from you know a, a muddy field to production one year for Gigafactory 3 Shanghai. So I think this is actually um, kind of reasonable. And they're going to be building the same you know Model 3 and Model Y there. So it's the same you know kind of technology or factory blueprint that they're doing in China that they would need to do in Germany. Um, the factory is going to have not only vehicle production but battery production as well. So on a surface level, I don't think this news really matters too much because Tesla has always said they're planning to build this European Gigafactory. Now we know where it is, but the timing hasn't changed. They're still hoping to get that off the ground in 2021, which would mean domestically produced cars in Europe, which means they have lower shipping times, lower shipping costs, um, and then no import tariffs technically. So it, that would essentially mean Tesla could lower the prices of its cars um, in a bunch of different European countries, make them more competitive. So the European Gigafactory will serve to turbocharge Tesla's European business. But what I thought was so interesting, kind of reading in between the lines of this news, and this is something that I speculated um, in, in a previous episode I made about Tesla being willing to license out its batteries and powertrain, essentially its electric skateboard. Um, this is a big idea that was asked on the latest conference call, and Elon Musk and Tesla, after a very long pause, said they would be willing to license out their electric skateboard, which once again, shout out to Matty Mogul, according to this efficiency, uh, the core efficiency ratio is by far the best technology in terms of you know squeezing the most range out of a battery in and powertrain, and additionally, Tesla's building it for the lowest cost. So this is sort of the holy grail of EV technology. It's what has allowed Tesla to make the only you know electric vehicle at a high gross margin that has really gone mainstream is this underlying skateboard technology. So I think that is exactly what every other automaker wants. Um, that's why I've been speculating that potentially VW or another company could license it out. And now Tesla said they're willing to license it out. Fiat Chrysler on their conference call said they're interested in licensing Tesla's skateboard out. Well, now at this award in Germany, we had Elon Musk and the CEO of Volkswagen basically like this really funny kind of bromance on stage talking about how they always hang out, they always, you know, drive cars and, and get drinks and like they're always talking about the future of mobility, which I think is kind of ironic because Volkswagen's the Dieselgate company. So you know each other very well, we know. And you meet each other sometimes in California, I think. What are you doing when you meet you both? Telling stories about electric mobility, driving cars, testing, drinking. What are you doing? Uh, all yeah. those things. I mean, of course, uh, we're, we're partying like rock stars. It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, but can we talk about, like, about cars? You know, yeah. And the future because, of cars. Yeah. Herbert is pushing the Volkswagen Group into electromobility, very, very hard. And um, the ID3 is not here this year. Maybe next year. Um, are you inspired by uh, Elon? Yeah. First of all, I really. I wanted to congratulate you. Great achievement. Now with all this uh, competition here in Germany, winning this award, I think it's a great achievement. Uh, we know each other. We, we don't meet so often. No, uh, it's, uh, we know each other since uh, a few years. And I would say that we share a vision, yeah, which is that we only can achieve uh, the CO2 targets and reduce uh, carbon emissions through electric cars. And uh, we also share a vision that the car becomes really an internet device, always can connect it, always online. The car becomes really, really safe and uh, uh, totally environmentally friendly. And from time to time, yes, uh, we meet uh, because I think it's, it's nice to follow up. I have to say, I really, I, um, yeah, I thank you for pioneering, for pulling us, for pushing us. Uh, I think Elon is really the innovator, which is uh, driving us along. And uh, uh, so it's worthwhile to talk about batteries, uh, the right concepts. 
And I always enjoy talking to him because uh, uh, he's really a very visionary. And one of my theories is that if Tesla was to license out its skateboard, how would they do it? They could get a partner like Volkswagen to put up capital for, let's say, a German Gigafactory, and then, you know, Volkswagen would get some of the output of electric skateboards. So reading in between the lines, it looks like the relations between Tesla and Volkswagen has never been stronger. Um, the CEOs are meeting. I think there's a really good, interesting possibility that some sort of partnership gets announced there, um, maybe along with this European German Gigafactory. Who knows? But I would be kind of looking for more news there. This is hyperchange. That's my thoughts on the European Gigafactory factory not really that much of a game changer piece of news unless this little bromance between elon musk and the ceo of volkswagen turns into a partnership that would be a huge huge deal so i'm gonna be waiting for that to happen um, and following it closely anyway let me know what you think in the comments below um huge shout out to our patreon producers funding the channel see you guys next time peace